Buenos Nachos Amigos, and welcome to Through the Tones, a uh, Dungeons and Dragons adventure where a group of understanding and patient uh, and loving friends uh, join an amateur DM as he guides them on his first ever uh, campaign of Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, I'm PD Rave, your uh, am- aforementioned amateur DM, uh, and I'm... I'm I, I'm gonna, for pacing's sake, I'm gonna do my show and tell at the top of the show. I wanted to show off, uh, real quick, uh, because uh, it's a, it's a quick one. Uh, because beer wise, I have nothing new. I'm still, I'm just gonna pop open another watermelon goza. I forgot to pop it open earlier. Uh, but right now, uh, for my show and tell, uh, all and also I I managed to already break uh my my bubba <laughs> the little flap that opens it. I, I broke it because uh, I am who I am um, but I'm also sitting here enjoying uh, the fall winter 2021-2022 uh, hot off the presses uh, Uline catalog uh, oh <laughs> nice Ooh, how, how many pages is it oh, a it's thick got boy about, it's a thick oh, boy yeah. yeah this is a good boy uh, it's got 811 pages of goodness uh oh! I, I you notice this back page like right here. You can get men's fleece shirts, uh, uh, sports caps, uh, tape di- marsh tape dispensers. Uh, all right, let, let me let the Streamlabs figure itself out in a moment. Uh, where is Streamlabs? Oh yes, uh, lock up like that. There you go. Uh. I've got marsh tape dispensers. <laughs> uh, I've got uh, I've got uh, let's see, I saw I saw it in a moment. Yeah, I've got mobile dry erase boards. Uh, you can roll them around for your all your important meetings. Uh, pegboards. I've got oh, electric pallet trucks. Oh yeah. <laughs> Lifters. All the needs. Uh, Do they sell pallets? Uh, pallet yes, they sell pallets. Yes, <laughs> pallets and pallet accessories. And pallet accessories. Yes. yes, industrial pallet trucks and all kinds of different colors. Uh, battery powered ones. Oh yeah, I'm excited. You can get badge holders for all your badges. Uh, in case you need some yeah. stuff badges. I- I god damn it. <laughs> I was gonna say I was told we didn't need those. Yes. Thank you. Dude. <laughs> uh but yes, that's uh, my show and tell. Uh but here with me uh is my crew, my team, my squad, the aforementioned wonderful friends. Uh we've got playing Wind and Summer, uh Daisy. Hey everybody. I have a fun fact for you all. This cat painting above me. That goes. Uh, those cats glow in the dark. Nice. Super fun. Maybe nice. I can take a picture one day for you all. Yes. Uh, we've got playing uh, Toby Tobold Underborough. We've got uh, Brett. Michelle just found her. Noom, noom, noom. It's Rossi. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, we've got uh, playing, <laughs> uh, not right now, but usually playing Lucius Scenario. We've got Matt. I've got a couple of complimentary tickets to the State Fair of Texas. Nice. Uh, I don't know if are they good for this not. year now? They are good for this oh, okay. year. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, and uh, last but not least, we've got playing Solero Italian, uh, Drew. Making a triumphant return to the stream. Um, all these uh, knockoff talkies. Nice. Taquitos. <laughs> uh, might I show you the bottom half of a bag of those hey! uh, Aldi brand knockoff Taki? <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's knockoff Taki gang. Yes. They, 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 they inspired me to order uh, some, some chopsticks that were really long for uh, the finger grubbiness uh, protection. Excellent. It's probably a good idea. And uh, and they see they're very like a one one at a time kind of uh snacking experience that mm-hmm. make chopsticks uh make sense. Yeah. yeah. Unlike have... Cheetos, where you kinda want a handful, but like you can kinda do it. No. Yeah. Um 
I we have an Aldi nearby here, and it's weird that it exists because it's like right across the street from a Publix uh, and a Walmart. Uh, so like, why? Are you, what purpose do you serve? <laughs> <laughs> and then the other, and like down, oh, it's that, those that's, like me. That side yeah, like, is uh, is a Walmart and and Publix. And then uh, the other street, because uh, it's on one corner of a big cross street, uh, has a Fresco y Mas, which used to be a Winn Dixie. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it's just like. Yeah, that's a. Yeah. Man, all these the shit, though. Have you been, Petey? You go. Yeah, I should check it out. Uh, oh, it's great. Bring a quarter. <laughs> they yep, bring they a quarter. have this great little corner that has all these, like, meat and cheese. It's basically, like, pre-made charcuterie things that you're probably supposed to, you know, cut up and lay out nicely. And I'm just like, I'll just have one of those and eat it on the way home. That's going to be my <laughs> snack. Nice, Prosciutto yes. wrapped mozzarella. Exactly. Don't mind if I do. The, the best thing I found Google. recently is they have what it looks like fancy crackers and like deli meats. And it's like, oh, you just made an adult Lunchable is what you did. Yeah, you yeah. just... <laughs> You, made a, a, you made you made a lunchable, but with herbs on the crackers and nice yes. cheese. Yeah, like, cool. that's what charcuterie is: adult lunchables. Yes, basically fancy yeah, adult like, lunchables. Yeah, essential. I, to me, that's more buffet lunchable. Yeah, and this is <laughs> this is in like the plastic container. It is like lunchable sized, but exactly. with nicer items. I was like, oh, yeah. okay. I get yeah, this. Buff- I understand. You know, a charcuterie uh, with a fine wine. It's like lunchables and grape juice. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Uh, all right. We we are here for D and D, not just uh, not are just uh, Aldi <laughs> talk. Yeah, ostensibly, technically. Uh, Welcome to Aldi Breakers. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all your needs for German groceries. <laughs> exactly. I should check it out. Uh, but uh, we're here to talk about D and D. Of course, we're doing an adventure. We're still in the midst of. Uh, checking out the Silver Tongue, uh, courtesy of Adventures Await uh, Studios, uh, in partnership with uh, Dungeon Master Dave, because you can also find it. You can find it on Adventures Await's website, uh, but you can also find it on uh, issue number sixteen of Broadsword Monthly, uh, in there with a bunch of other really cool adventures, uh, like with pictures and like uh, stat blocks and fun art in the back. This like this is just neat. Look at that. This is, that's neat. He's like, that's a meeting. <laughs> oh my god! That's a ow. meeting. That's a de- that's a devil meeting. <laughs> Did something bite you? What happened? <laughs> Did one of the animals? The cat maybe? still has back claws and decided oh, it yeah. wanted to be in my lap. Like they don't they don't Excellent. understand. I know that feel. Yeah, uh, but yeah, it's it's fun stuff. Uh, but yeah, we're t- doing that adventure. Um, we're kind of like the the, the gang is uh to recap the gang is of trying to find uh, uh, Midrin Jastier uh, at the behest of uh, his wife, uh, who contacted them or who uh, commissioned them uh, to uh, uh, investigate uh, concerns she had of his recent behavior. So. They found that uh, that he had been uh, stashed in some ruins uh, in uh, uh, outside of town, and the he was being for whatever reason uh, they were getting something from him, um, and they were set to dispose of him, probably uh, probably kill him, uh, and they were uh, going to the ruins to see if they could rescue him. Uh, they worked their way in through the ruins, uh, dealt with some. Uh, 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 ruffians and rapscallions and ne'er do wells. Uh, they looped around to a door further back into the ruins, uh, uh, and listened to the door. Heard people in a meeting, uh, and now they're ready to storm in or enter in, in whatever way they feel like. Uh, and that's where we find our adventurers. Uh, <laughs> doing this, we have. Uh, let's just transition over. Uh, we have our adventures. 
laying in wait. Uh, I will. We have adventurer uh, mortal, uh, adventurer the dead shark. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Yes. Uh, some horses that we may or may not talk to again, yeah. <laughs> and a uh, seal that we bribed with a fish. Yes, greedy fish. Everyone's favorite character. Uh, so, uh, I am pausing game, so you can kind of position yourself however you'd like, and then you can decide uh, how you would like to proceed. Where is everybody? You sure? We're all... Up by a door. Are you in? I cannot take this action. The game is currently paused. It should be. It should be unpaused. I just unpaused. It, it. is not. I'm still reading it. On, I yeah, just paused. it's paused. Uh, let me refresh because I, I might be dealing with like not being able to control the game at the moment. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, I noticed it on cam. It was say, still saying game pause. Uh, but yeah, what do you guys uh, think? What do you guys uh, discuss, like thinking is your game plan uh, for the store? Um, um so, Solero, you want to like go in with me? Let me hold on, let me. Maybe. Um. Wait, why can I not? Where is my? Hmm, how do I bring up my character sheet? Should we be able to select your? Uh, if you're looking uh, for or in a uh, foundry, you should be able to uh, click yourself and hit C, or double click your okay. character. Okay, got it. Yeah, I'll, yeah, yeah. I would go in with you. Okay, mm. cool. I don't know what's behind the store. Okay. Yeah. We're we're just gonna do our best. Also, uh, be sure to uh, have your uh, uh, storming in the room hero one liner ready. Uh, just for fun. Oh man, I need like a week to prepare something like that. <laughs> <laughs> We're, we're not we're not impro we're not gifted improvers here at, at Cool Tones. Uh, huzzah! Huzzah! Adventure! Huzzah! Don't do panic! Have you have you have you guys seen the Joel Haver, the dude that does the rotoscoping, uh, videos? Uh, uh, oh, there's a dude no? like he does. Oh damn. Fucking tab just crashed. Uh, is this guy Joel Haver, and he does like these and and these great uh, is he first time playing the RPG? Uh, playing an RPG for the first time, and like uh, and he goes through the process. Uh, go, uh, there's a video where he talks about how he uh, goes through the process of it. Uh, and it's just like, it's just live act, live action acted, but like, oh, oh, ah, okay. Uh, let's see. But, uh, and it's, it's such a wild visual, uh, and, the, and it's very intentionally like dry and awkward and it works so well. And, but like the main thing is just like, he goes, huzzah on the, on the RPG ones. Uh, there's also a it's great one. It's a good catch-all, man. Yeah. And then, uh, but like the delivery is just amazing. I think specifically how he delivers it, uh, is amazing. Uh, there's also one of his recent ones was, uh, Lanky Kong reacts to the DK rap for the first time. Which is him pretending to be Lanky Kong reacting to the DK rap. And the whole thing is like, he's watching it. It's like, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. And like, there's like... Uh, this you know how they talk about Daisy Gone or whoever the the girl is it Daisy no Dixie Dixie Dixie, Dixie. it's like oh yeah, she's got style yeah she's really the 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 she's got the great fashion yeah totally and like uh you know a donkey is like he's the leader it's like yeah he's totally our leader he's a great leader it's like 
and like going to look like reacting to, uh, to each other uh, you know how great they are it's like and he stops just before his and he goes like you know what i like um i like that everything is just positive uh bringing out everyone's positive uh, attributes uh and uh <laughs> you know just bringing what they bring you know highlighting what they bring to the table and what they do best and then he unpauses for for the lanky converse and it starts out with like he's got no style and he's got no grace. Uh, it's like he pauses like he <laughs> seemed like look like um okay um uh, now what I remembered when we recorded it but okay and he pauses like this Kong has a funny face <laughs> like. It's like you see him like it just him die inside slowly, and it is like uh it, it's and then you see it cuts to like him on the fo- on a ban- well on the phone on a banana as if he's on the phone and like he's like what he did, that's not what we agreed on like why how many you know what the positive things like he's like arguing with somebody about like the content like what do you mean the game's already out <laughs> like what do you mean the- aww. I have subscribed to that channel to watch later. I saw yeah. a Lord of the Rings joke. I'm like, okay, I gotta watch that at least. Yeah. Oh my god. That that video is Very fantastic. So. Uh, that is, that video is fantastic for that. Like, it's gonna the, be a the, rabbit hole. Yeah. Um. All right. So should be on pause now. Okay. <laughs> Looks like it is. Yes. Yeah. All right. Yes. So, have we? Do we uh, hear anything on the other side, of, other side of the door? Did I miss uh, that? Uh, uh, I know. Uh, I believe it was uh, Summer that P- Ed listened in, right? I uh, I think we both did because I listened not very successfully, but uh, Solero did. Oh yeah, and, and then he heard that there was conversation, discussion. He did like conversation and planning like somebody about like approaches and and, and sites and locations and things like that uh and you heard like roughly uh three people should be you hear like three people okay let's see everybody Uh, mortals will be like, I'll I'll be right here behind you guys. So I guess I just my better judgment. Well, open the door and sort of sort of try to open it slowly, be inconspicuous about it, but knowing that I'm probably gonna be faced with something weird on the other side of this door. Um oh. Was that meant to be able to be opened? <laughs> yes, so it's it's un- as far as I know, it's unlocked. Yeah. Okay, so then I guess I'm gonna go oh, huzzah my way. Huzzah! <laughs> huzzah! All right, uh, you go. Sorry. Uh, what was, okay, I'm gonna double check something in here before we. Uh, okay, Halo Thorns. You already did here, Halo Thorns. It's weird that it keeps the Hail of Thorns concentration on uh, even after you... Well, I guess even after you hit it, it's just uh, that interaction. Uh, so, does Summer go in right behind him? Uh, or, yeah. Okay. okay, and then... Uh, Alright, let me... I just figure we at least, like, bust on in like Kool-Aid Man. Yeah. Huzzah! <laughs> let me uh, pull up the the entry so I can read out the pertinent information. Uh, justice. This song has a funny face. Uh, I was at a hockey game and somebody was singing the DK rap around me and I was confused. 
Um, Where are you going? <laughs> yes. Um, so yeah, I'm so, just keeping it off. So were you as because uh, you're walking you around in your underwear? The, yes. Uh, what you see in the room uh, is you see large stone bookshelves sit in the corners of this massive chamber. And you see kind of a, a, a large oaken desk in the center with like a, what seems like, and it's hard to tell all the way in, but, uh, on this end of the room, but it looks like what might be a map at the center. Um, and you see these three uh, figures uh, sitting around the, the table. Not exactly dressed like this, but you know, kind of. Uh, so I, I picked these tokens out of you know, the supply that I had. Um, but yeah, these kind of like robed, uh, uh, robed uh, folks. Um, you see, um, man and the woman, uh, kind of closer to you, and and uh, but it seems to be somebody that's a little bit more of a person in charge in the on the opposite side of the table, and they <laughs> look to you. They see you guys, uh, they immediately draw their weapons uh, and begin to attack. So uh, let me get every, I'll take care of the, putting you guys into combat mode. And then. Roll initiative. Roll initiative. Hell yeah. I'll, I'll be around later, guys. Moral. Also do it for. We need mortal support. Uh, Chavo, but just so I can uh, type it. So I can mm -hmm. Sue. Okay. okay. Back that. Um, uh, awesome. Right, let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's that is all. Uh, let me. Let me pick appropriate music. Flugel, flugel, horn, flugel, flugel, horn. Dark, let's go with dark ritual. Oh, okay. There you go. All right, that music, those drums signal the beginning of combat. Ah, you sure to stop them? You must die. And then combat begins, and uh, a summer starts us off at the top of the initiative. Oh boy! All right. Summer is going to run at this important looking dude in the middle. Yeah. And like Oh, let me let me unpause. Oh, yeah, thank you. I was like, well, I can't move. Uh she's gonna leap over this table behind him. Yeah. If that's as you cool. Do. Yeah. yeah. And as she leaps down, <laughs> she's going to thwack him over the head. Fingers crossed, everybody. <laughs> Normal roll. Ah. Oh. So I'll put you. I'll say oh, I here. Forgot. I'll say here okay. so that you cool. don't uh, you don't uh, incur a, uh, an attack of opportunity from this guy. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. I'll say this lady. I here. I also forgot to target the guy before I pushed the button. I'm sorry. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> uh, do, 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 do. Okay. Let's attack. see. Fifteen. Fifteen. Uh, yeah, it hits. Oh, cool. Okay, so she's going to give this dude a thwack. Start your thwacking. For eight points of damage. Okay. 
Nice. And she's going to come back with like a big swiping underhand swing. Nice. Da, da, da. Oh, hits. Nice. Yeah, just hits. It doesn't say roll damage. Oh, uh, wait, it's right above it. Okay, never mind. Yeah. Duh. Okay. Um, also, I would like to spend a key point to do a stunning strike on this dude. Um, so yeah. he has to succeed on a con saving throw or be stunned until the yeah. end of my next turn. Right, so pop it in the... Uh, uh, oh, uh, wait. Oh, you know what? I should have actually hit the stunning strike button. Yeah, so that... Um, that way, I just get the thing there, and it yeah. makes it easy to, for me to do. There you uh, go. When you hit with a melee, okay, perfect. Okay. Do I hit the button, or do you? Uh, say yeah, it it's. I'll say. I'll do it. Uh, okay. Okay. That's what it, it lets me have the save there. Oh, there you go. He he makes the save. <sighs> thing never works, you guys. I'm so sad. It's gonna be epic. Yeah, it, uh, it's good stuff. Okay, give me just a sec to mark off my. It, key he doesn't point have great cons. Okay. He just rolled well. Oh, uh, we yeah. can see that. He rolled a 15. Um, okay. Nonetheless, I still got to do damage. Mm -hmm. He's just not stunned. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so ten he points. Did ten Sweet. points of damage on the second one. I'm not sure I'm like putting it on the right person. Um. Okay, alright, just real quick. Okay. That person. Alright. Yeah, he is. Has already been uh, damaged significantly. Oh, uh, which is <laughs> nice. <laughs> Sweet. Alright, all right, so you well, have your bonus action. Yeah, we're gonna go in for a punch. Nice. Sure. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Nice. <laughs> there we go. Woo! Damn. Summer. Uh, yeah. Oh. Uh, he is, he is looking <laughs> worth, like, he is, like, reeling. Glassy-eyed, like, oh, oh, oh. he is moaning and, like, out of, just out of sorts and he's just can't, just completely disoriented like you just stormed in and suddenly he's like bah, bah, bah. Ah, oh, okay <laughs> which way did he go George which way did he go I don't know when was the last time I've hit all three <laughs> like I've landed all three hits on someone that was pretty yeah. cool yeah uh, but yeah that's huzzah huzzah <laughs> Um, on to mortal. Yes, on to mortal. Uh, mortal comes on in. He's like, okay, seems like things are going well. Uh, he's here. You look at his things. So there's dagger out in his uh his uh alchemy kit. Uh. Alright, so park and then twenty. Alright. Alright, so he's going to just come in and wailing on this guy. His dagger. Oh, and he misses. Uh, and that's that's ostensibly all that he can do right now. Uh, man, oh, spell dang. slots. He's still out of spell slots. Um, all right. That's it for mortal. All right, now we have Solera. All right, so I think 
I'm going to take a movement to get me beside, but by the important looking dude. Um, but not in a bad spot, relatively speaking. Um, and then my first attack with my almighty sword. I'd like to nice. roll for that. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, you definitely hit. <laughs> yeah. Um, that natural 20. And hit that natural damage. 20. And then, uh, can I charge that then? Uh, uh yeah, you can do it as long as you still have charges. Uh, who are you, yeah, who are you attacking you... again? Uh, the, the, uh, the, main... the fanatic. Uh, I will say, I mean, I'll save you the trouble and say that, uh, he's, he would be dead anyways, so. <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> I'm just in fact you didn't even really need to crit which is kind of a bummer <laughs> but, well don't uh, tell us that <laughs> I, well I, you know I'm sorry I, just, I'm, I believe in transparency just, just mute like yourself and tell the stream or something yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah how do you want to end this guy oh I just if he's Hmm. He's a fanatic. I just want to stab him in the throat. Screw it. Yeah. Just yeah. right through the throat. <laughs> it's just like internally uh, uh, decapitated. decapitated. Yes. Yeah. All the way. It's like. And you just like slice oh, off your sword. I know. I technically have. Tw I technically use 25 to get here, right? Yeah. So he's think, dead. So as I'm doing it, I'm stepping over him. Can I do that and then use yeah, my dead. bonus attack on this dude? Yeah, yeah. Your your extra attack. You know, you still have your your second attack and your bonus action. Or okay. my bonus action. I want travel your, to get into the room. Oh yeah, your so second someone. attack. Or you mean yeah, you, so your second attack? You want him to do that, and then your bonus action. You're gonna attack, right? Yeah. Okay, so bo I'll just roll the bonus action now and then do Chavo yeah. after. Where is so she? this is. Oh, that. Wait, where is she? Oh, well, it's in my target. Doesn't matter. Chavo's still in the hallway, so I gotta get him in. Uh, I can't see. For some reason. Where is he? Oh, oh he's, he's under he's under Toby. <laughs> <laughs> At least for me, he's under Toby. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, dang it! It's technically a wall. Okay. Yeah, go up. And then... Okay. Because that would aim me essentially at this guy, right? Yeah. It was like a, so I could charge. Should... Yeah. Okay. So I'll go ahead and roll his ram to see if he hits. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it does hit. Okay. Oh, you, and you hit your scimitar. I didn't hit the scimitar. The scimitar missed. No, it, it, it hit the. Oh wait, no, it missed the veteran. Okay, because you're you're still targeting the, the Some, other guy. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. And you're still you're targeting both of these dudes. <laughs> well, the lady, the dude in the lady, like I think it's that one. Yeah. Okay, so, okay. so this one. Okay. Alright, so you do eight points of bludgeoning damage. Uh, or Chavo does. And then. Uh, and then you can roll the damage for the charge. That still counts no matter what. Eight points of bludgeoning damage there. <laughs> and, uh, alright, and then, okay, so. <laughs> she, de she definitely fails. Uh, so, so she is now prone. 
<laughs> Fuck you. So now, uh, any melee attacks have advantage on on her. Um. I think that's it. Yeah, you did your bonus action. Mm -hmm. yeah, you uh, the bonus action with my scimitar. Yeah, so that was it. Uh, oh. Okay. Yep, All I'm set. out. I'm spent. <laughs> Sue. Sue's going to high five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. She's going to split up with uh, Chavo. It's, she, the, he sees Chavo head one way. They're going to split off and head the other way. And we're going to go after this guy. And we're going to sting him. So it definitely hits him. <laughs> nice. Does five points of uh, piercing damage, and this guy has to um, con save. He 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 succeeds in the con save, so he's not poisoned, but um, still was dealt a little bit of a sting. <laughs> He he, he 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 pricked him a little bit. He pricked the prick. Um. Right, oh, I'm just, oh crap! I just realized. Pseudo dragon. T uh, I'm su <laughs> oh yeah, Sue has the same uh, initiative as you. Or uh, he just. Uh, you just have higher um, dexterity, so you go before Sue. I was like wondering why, uh, even though I put Chavo as the same initiative as you, is after Sue, but Sue, Sue also rolled a 12. That's funny. Uh, all right. First time I think that's been a thing that we've had to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, good. All right. Well. Uh, all right. Uh, oh yeah, that's the first one. Okay. 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 Alright. So, this guy is dead. <laughs> uh, it, was, it was going to be his turn, but he's dead. So now it is uh, uh, Toby's turn. Hell yeah. Well, Toby's going to enter the room and with his uh with his sword he's going to try to enter the guts of this dude yeah i'm targeted and i am rolling huzzah uh this is it was a uh, 15 correct should hit. Oh no, it misses. Yeah. Well, who? <laughs> well, then I'll just have to have to misses. try with my with my dagger in my offhand, to which I roll a sixteen. Oh, just misses. <laughs> and I go dang. Wow. And uh, with that, I will. In turn. Yeah. Oh, man. bummer. Alright, uh, this guy, okay, it's gonna be this lady here. Um, oh, yeah, it is her turn. So she's gonna use half her movement to get up. Like, we never really move anywhere. Um,. Mm 
She's not, she's too smart to, to really focus on, um, the girl, despite the fact that, uh, it just hurt her so bad. So, um, yeah, uh, I guess she'll focus on mortal. And... So she has see how he is. She has her a long sword and a short sword. The long and short of it. Huh. Uh, she goes and uh, clashes with mortal's uh, shield. Uh, and she's like frustrated. Like, ah! Blasted torture. And she, follows, she does a follow up swing. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh. Uh, that's about 12 points of damage to mortal. And oh. it finds a, a vulnerable spot. And. And mortal. Uh. Is looking a little bit more hurt than he usually is. Kind of like be able to like Perry come around and be able to uh, slash at him in a vulnerable spot, and he's just, he's just, you see a little bit of blood uh, coming out uh, as he's uh, pretty severely wounded. Uh, Um, oh yeah, he has a belt. I always forget about his belt. He does, okay, so the alchemy belt, yeah, he is, uh, he does have the belt. But actually, in this world, it doesn't matter. Um, I think, I was going to say the belt, I'm, I'm thinking about potions for immortal when he's going to be able to use his potion. Uh, but I think... I mean, I have the ability to give him a hand, but it's gonna be a while. Yeah, he's got. He, you can. You. He, he do. He does have a couple of potions. Uh, he, uh, he, like, uh, he'll have uh, a potion and a greater potion uh, in, in his alchemy belt, and those magical stops that he has dangling. So he's gonna have them dangling. Um. Okay, and then I'm just going to double check. Um, okay. Or, or. Oh, okay. But then. Okay. Let me roll one. But I, that, to give, me, give myself that, I do have to take into consideration. I did just get critically hit, so I had to roll a twenty twenty to make sure one of those uh, potions doesn't break. <laughs> okay, that's fine. As long as he doesn't, as long as I don't roll a one there. Okay. Okay, that's not horrible. Yeah. You take a disaster. Uh, and then she comes in, follows up with a short sword attack. Just hit hole and hits. Four 
points of damage. Oh, okay. And mortal is looking uh, rough, and uh, you can tell. And Sue is looking concerned, very concerned. All right. Okay. Um, that's that guy. That's that lady. Um, and this guy has got one. Well, no, he's he's. He was engaged with uh, Solero, and this guy, and, and Toby just kind of came back, came from behind him, and tried to attack him, but didn't succeed. <laughs> so he was just gonna stick with uh, Solero. If I move myself, would it be easier for you <laughs> okay. to select me? I was like, <laughs> I was like, what happened there? I was like, I could have sworn I selected it properly. I was like, uh, but yeah, he does roll 20 side, which I imagine hits. The, okay. My armor class is 14, so yeah. 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 It hits. Uh, he does 7 points of slashing damage. Okay, so 11. Got it. Uh, I don't know what. Oh, why did I? What? <laughs> I don't know. I'll put it in the chat. Uh. Oh. Alright. Another long sword attack. So you, you like, you feel that sla him slash at you. And you react uh, when you see that he's come from a, coming back with a follow up attack, and you're able to kind of like take your. <laughs> uh, it's almost like kind of funny that you you accidentally rolled the attack, but take your sword and uh, and just parry that follow up attack out of the way. Uh, and, he, and he misses you, uh, and then he's gonna try to follow, momentum wise because he was back back swinging. To follow with the uh, uh, with the uh, the short sword. And you you effortlessly uh, just I'm gonna say you know what with the with your parry and the fact that he rolls a one I'm gonna say you you use your scimitar and you parry his short sword out of his hands and it, flo it flies across the room. So he only has his long sword now. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. as, as a wise man once said, huzzah. Yeah. Adventure. Uh, Excelsior. <laughs> ah, curse you. Uh, and then... The that is it for him. Now we go back to the top of the initiative. We have Summer. All right, I'm going to juke around Solero. Let's imagine like a cool spin move there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to target this right, so shifty looking fellow. I was like, this guy, the this. I mean, the lady does get an attack of opportunity. Oh, does she? Yeah, because she was with the oh. melee ring. But if you want to, you know, risk it, <laughs> like, you're pretty No, wait, can speed. I take that back then? Because I didn't realize, like, for some reason I thought I was, like, not right here, but, like, I don't uh, know. I moved you there, because otherwise, on your last movement, when you want to move it up here, it yeah, would, it okay. you, no matter what, somebody would have gotten an attack of opportunity yeah, on you okay, in that no, movement. All right, all right. Alright, alright, okay, take that back, take that back. 
for my free action, I'd like to reconsider that decision before making it. So <laughs> yeah. uh, I have decided to go to this one instead. Uh, oh, I'm going to swag this. So there's a lady standing yeah. next to me. Hell yeah. Like Big damage. Come on. And roll the thick in a robe, but you do notice there's like thick armor underneath. But yeah, you definitely hit. Nice. nice. All right, we're going for another thwack. Okay. Okay. Unleashing flurry of blows. <laughs> uh, yes, you hit with the flurry of blows. Yeah. Hell yeah. I'll refresh that. Oh, okay. You just saw an unarmed strike on that one. Come on. Yeah. Die. <laughs> All the attacks. There we go. Alright. Uh, Alright, uh, let me. Okay, so. I beat the say, crap both out attacks. of Yeah, you, you hear most? Okay. <laughs> let's see. 23 damage total. I'm going to do damage, so I'm going to apply that damage. I'm going to apply this damage, and this damage. Yeah, it's like, it's like, you hit with a, th a thwack staff, you follow it up, she like ducks out of the way out of desperation, and then you like, you you follow up with your own arm strike. Oh, 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 she's like, oh, oh. <laughs> it's like, a little disoriented. Not super rough, but... It, she's she's taking a beating. Okay. I uh get the stream view set up again. Um. All right. So now it is Mortal's turn. Uh, Mortal is going to use um because of his uh alchemy belt. He's gonna take uh, from his alchemy belt uh, a. What? What do you mean? Sorry, I'm getting. Sorry, no. Okay. Alright. Uh, he's gonna get a greater potion, a great a potion of greater healing. Um, he's gonna, ch he's gonna pop you know from the, you can see from his belt he kind of like unstops it from the belt he has that like magical stop on there and chugs it uh, uh, for his bonus action. Uh, so he takes 12 points of healing, which brings him back up to 17. So that's nice. Cam back in there. Logging issues. All right, mm. All right. Um, yeah, over on the on the cam view <laughs> uh, account. Uh. Um, but yeah, uh, that's it for so that's his bonus action, uh, and then he's gonna for his action. Uh, he's gonna uh, sticker with his dagger. Or at least attempt to. I think he does. Yes. <laughs> I think just barely. But oh, thank goodness he has that plus seven to attack. Um, does seven points of piercing damage. She's looking rougher and rougher. Um, all right, and then that is it for uh, Mortal. You got Solero. Yes. 
Um, I'm gonna keep on my, my main dude here. He's right here. Yeah. You don't notice that after mortal chug, he, he starts breathing a little more steadily. It seems a little bit more... With it. Uh, he's not perfect. He's not far from perfect, but he's... He's a, he's a, he's a little bit better. I'm, I'm taking a little bit of a calculated risk here. Um, <laughs> yes. With rolling that. Um, just FYI. Um, yes. I, I, see, I see the thing. Um, I feel it, but also this guy um <laughs> so i hit i'll roll this okay and then okay so i hit with that mm -hmm. um, six points of piece of damage we'll see yeah, still, still uh, i need 20 okay so if I rear him back like this and aim him at the guy, this guy, right? That would still be, that would be 25, 10, 15, 20, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to try. Ah. I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to succeed. <laughs> um, so, uh, 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 so he doesn't, yeah, he doesn't succeed. Well, uh, yeah, he just misses. Like, he kind of, like, bumps up and he just, like, hits a, uh, he goes up, to, runs at him. He's looks like about to hit and the guy kind of, like, elbows him down. So he kind of, like, his momentum is thrown off a bit. So let's try this. Try. And, and. Ugh. He he does he he, simu he's he's able to kind of like parry you know, elbow him and then parry your attack with his long sword. Uh, obviously not to the extent that you did, where you knocked his short sword out of hand. But uh, but uh, might have been a bad move, guys. Oh well, <laughs> I may have may have should have done a spell. <laughs> Oh, well, we'll see. We'll see how it works out. A bold move, Cotton. It's a bold move, Cotton. <laughs> see how it, work, how it plays out. Um, all right. All my luck went into that nat twenty. I didn't need. Yeah. Oh, awesome. <laughs> uh, it's a bummer. Uh, but you know what? Let's roll on. Uh, like they say on the on the on the Spanish shows that we watch, where pe when people lose. The big jackpot at the end of the Spanish version of the Chaser. Uh, no pasa nada. No pasa nada. Mm -hmm. Sorry. No pasa nada. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Uh, see you. It's like, he sees that and like, uh, he sees you kind of try and kind of like, you and Chavo try to kind of go after this guy. It's like, uh, and like, he sees like he gets a sense of determination, like you know, uh, to like uh, do right by you guys, and he's gonna sting the shit out of him. At least try, and he hits with the stinger. Uh, he hits for four piercing damage. Okay. And this guy, uh, I'm going to say a constitution saving throw. Let's see how. Huh? Four. DC 11. This 11 minus four is seven, which is more than five. So not only does this guy poison. <laughs> uh, but he's also unconscious. <laughs> nice. So you see, kind of, you see Sue, like, just lay a sting right into his neck, and you see him like reach for his neck. He's like, you "Blasted little pest! What? How dare he? And then you see his eyes go glassy, and then you kind of like you see him fall unconscious. 
uh, passed out. Like he, like he did to the uh, other guy back there. Which also means... Ah, uh, yes. Uh, so he's laying <laughs> down <laughs> unconscious. Um, so that is the end of uh, Sue's turn. Uh, and Travo. Uh, that guy's dead. Still. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, skip the feed. Okay. Yeah, that setting. Um Now it is Toby's turn. So you see All Sue right. from your shoulder, or like Sue had kind of set himself like on your shoulder. I could kinda of, like keep an eye on things for you. And uh he came over there and he stung that guy and the guy passed out. It's like, all right. <laughs> there we go. Well, Toby is going to. Excuse me, mortal. He's going to come over here and he's going to attack with his S word. Yeah. Mortal politely steps aside. <laughs> I believe that hits. Uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> I, would, I would say confidently so. And he's been pierced for nine damage. Nine damage. Uh, all right, let me... Okay. But wait, there's more. <laughs> I'm going to give him he's both the K2 rough. and the Matterhorn. Yes. <laughs> um... You can hit him. And I believe 19 hits as well. Yes. Uh, this will to likely... which I do two piercing damage. <laughs> First. He is like... He is looking absolutely at his... Like, like he's hanging by a thread. He's looking absolutely rough. And as I unstick him with my dagger I say suck it fool yes. and I end my turn uh, okay well played uh, well played okay uh, 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 Okay, okay. Okay. Uh... Okay. All right. This guy. This is a... Spits on the floor. Like, you may kill me, but your our fate is already sealed. And he comes at you. Uh, this is a uh, long sword. Not long enough. Struggles. That's what she said. I love that that's very realistic. Like, he's like clearly dying and just like still fighting. Just, just can't. Coming back with a back swing. <laughs> Misses again. It's wild swings. Yeah. Comes with this coughing, coughing up blood. Spit, you know, just like. All out of sorts. Just, like does a desperate lunge towards you, uh, and it should hit. I don't know, was... I'm pretty sure it does. Yes, <laughs> he just is able to like stick you with his short sword after all these desperate swings, but not very far. far. He's... 
It's just five points of piercing damage. That could have been much worse. <laughs> it's like... And he just kind of holds his arms up. Do what you must. Uh, and then uh, that ends his turn. Uh, this guy uh, snores. Sleepy. Which, that, that is her turn, I should say. That is her turn. <laughs> She's kind of like this, like, this uh, harsh f uh, female face looking at you with, like, disgust and, yeah, but determination. But not, and then this guy is he's just snoring and sleeping. Excellent. And now we go back to the top of the initiative. Uh, uh, Daisy, I think you muted. Sorry, yeah. Uh, are you not streaming the Forge game? Oh yeah, right uh, sorry, I was. Uh, or, do you, or do you mean? Do you? Or do you mean to? Yeah. Yeah, I was. Uh, I had meant to go back to it because I was. I had. Uh, yeah. I had turned away because I was uh, fixing it. And then gotcha. I brought okay, it back, cool. but I forgot to put it Yeah. Okay, All right. Okay. Well, I'm gonna thwack this person. Let's see. Oof. <laughs> I just. You barely missed. He just kind of like sways just out of the way. Sixteen missed? What does that mean really? Just oh. missed, yeah. Oh, it was almost a twenty. Come on. What the heck? Alright, punch like... this person in the back. Good god. Well, that oh. sucked. <laughs> I didn't do anything. <laughs> I'm just gonna stand there and just like look confused. It's like it's like it's like it's like it, it's uh, that he seems to in his desperate in his last breath and desperation, he's able to kind of like um with his swords and his like like the arm like his gauntlets. Uh, her, I mean, she's there. Sorry, I like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm the one who gendered her, and I keep misgendering her. Um, <laughs> and she's, like, either parrying the thwack staff or just kind of, like, uh, just using her forearm to kind of, like, 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 swipe away her, your arm in, like, these, like, fits of desperation. It was, like, in her, in her last moments. <laughs> I'm just sad, man. I got a plus seven on my attack rolls, and yeah. I couldn't even hit once out of three times. <laughs> oh. That's a bummer. All right, well, uh, over to mortal. Mortal. Um. Mortal. All right, mortal's in a. It's like. Let's just see if he's gonna stick her for the last. <laughs> yeah, mortal, whatever the damage is. So he's, he, he drives his dagger, looks her right in the face, gets right in her face and holds and grabs her by the scruff and it's like, and, you know, swats her arms away and drives the, the dagger right in her throat. And just kind of like tosses her back on her back, tosses her body Whoa. back on her back. <laughs> like, uh, well, she said. <laughs> I mean, she did. I heard it. That's what she said. I give I'm giving a mortal an accent now. <laughs> That's what she said. That's what she said. Oh, gee golly. Mortal pal. See, M Mortal's gonna learn how to pick a banjo by uh, watching Toby play the loop. Yes, exactly. I mean... It's like, and then you, uh, Toby's gonna Toby's gonna have to set him aside. He's like, eh, it's more, I mean, it's more of a percussion style. Yeah, it's more of, you know... It's a, <laughs> I don't know. I just thought I heard one time. Uh, 
one uh, all right so all right and that's that's it for that guy <laughs> uh so you have one a, a dead lady a dead guy and a unconscious guy who's gonna be unconscious for a little while so as far as this combat you have reached the end of this combat huzzah as I kind of like, Toby, uh, start whipping out those healing potions for like. I don't need to just portal. whip out healing potions. Uh, I can whip out magic at people if we cool. have time. Uh. Okay, so I can sell this. Yeah, me, yeah, maybe. All right, who who line up? Let me see what I. Well, let me let me let me look inside of my magical self and see how much magic I have to give. Yeah, I can. I can I can throw some words around. Yeah, Solero and Mortal. Well, I'll see the mortals the right here. That I saw. I am going to cast. Yeah, I was gonna say healing I, word. I I could use a bit of healing. It ain't much, but I got it. Uh, yes. Uh, and, uh, I, I wish, can you move so I can target you? Oh, no, I can't. Uh, healing, so four is what I'm seeing here? That's for healing. Oh, that was four. Mortal. Yes, you got six. I got six, yeah, yeah. Mortal is Thank now you. at, uh, now at 21. 21. Anybody else? Uh, I got a little more in are, me. Are we going to poke hurting? around this room or For take a, a short rest in this room? I won't I do mean, me any any good. Yeah, I, I have three hit dice is why I'm asking. Um, I would like to go listen at this door quietly while you guys are doing that. And I, I think that I, will help determine. Also, when you say a short, like the rest for a little bit, uh, Sue kind of like points at the unconscious guy and kind of like conveys the thought of there's a time limit almost. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, I forgot he was unconscious, not dead. Yeah. We can uh, always kill him, but yeah. tie him up worst case scenario, that. gag him. I'm pretty good at that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, what would you like to do? You said you were going to listen at that door? Yeah. Um... I mean, you won't even have to roll for it. There's, it's just quiet. It's like a quiet okay. hallway. It a quiet, like, space. And the, uh, if you check the door, the door is not locked. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm cool if you guys want to, like, rest up for a little bit. Um, I think we need to do something with this dude over here. And figure out is he useful to us alive or dead? I'll put you in charge of that. Oh thank you. Hey mortal, do you have any like potions that will like kill this guy in his sleep so I don't have to stab him? Um I mean you can whack him with your staff, but that's not stabbing. Um, Lock him in the head. I've got rope. I've got this elixir, but it's an elixir of, like, swiftness that I made this morning. Uh, and he holds, like, a little flask. I just made some el elixir of swiftness, but that's not really useful for that. Um, uh, I've got... What can you do as far as, like... We probably just uh tie him up. Uh, probably be the easiest. Okay. I've got some rope okay, unless so you if you need it. I, all. I I I still have rope. I can tie this guy up and gag him. Toby's yeah. gonna go back and cut the fin off of that dead shark. Right. There's like that mess hall, man. Be careful. People might come out of that uh, door. I guess not. 
I, I guess I guess Toby won't. You could always do it yeah. on the way back, you know, maybe. Yeah. Uh, um, I have a feeling we're gonna exit stage left even. <laughs> I don't know. That might that might smell after a while too. So. Yeah. Uh, Mortal uh, helps you, uh, and he'll he's gonna he takes the guy's sword, other sword, uh, throws it off by the side to the side, or hides it the best he can. Or actually, no, he's gonna shove it. He's gonna shove. The long sword and the short sword in his. Well, let me. He's gonna have to shove everyone's so like long swords. Uh, okay. I don't know what this guy have. Uh. <laughs> the cult fanatic never got to do a damn thing. <laughs> He's a, uh, which is great because he for you guys because he was a spellcaster. It was like, oh, good. Have you seen the uh, not huge spells, but PS spells. He has inflict wounds for one thing. Um, or had. Now he's dead, so he has no. I spells. just I use the uh, the center stage effect where, when given three choices, most people just go for the middle choice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and he was on the other side of the table, so you yeah. know. I, I I did, and 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 based on strategy, it was it made sense. I I did telegraph that he seemed like the more important character, uh, and that worked out because that and that worked out a lot better for the battle. I, I would say overall, just having somebody with inflict wounds in the middle of the battle like mm. would have been not good. No bueno. Um, but yeah, Mortal just shoves like two long swords, a couple of short swords, and a dagger from these guys into his pack, into the bag of holding. <laughs> and just like, just so they don't have them, and then the armor he just kind of throws off. The He's, he's got the the big pants from the one character from uh, <laughs> all that. Yeah. Uh, but he's like, he just kind of shoves those in there, and then, uh, and then he, un he, Make sure to take off the the guy's armor from him. But yeah, actually, no, he's not gonna do it because that he just the important part is his weapons. <laughs> like, so he just he, so that nobody's armed, uh, especially not him. So and then you tie him up, and gag him. All right, so he's tied up. Do you put him like in a corner or something? Yeah. Yeah, let's see that. Drag him over to pretend like he's over here somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Get out of there, dude. Um, I want to look at this map on the table, too. Okay, so, yeah, uh, let me give you information on the map. Um, the map is just kind of like a general map of the area. Uh, and there's some like other like papers and, and pieces of information and like uh and a, like a letter or two. Um let me give the pertinent information. This is war room. Um you also uh if you search uh I would say on the the we'll call him cult fanatic because this is that's a stat block. But on on him you see a set of keys. Like a keys for like, like a cell of some kind. If you could only imagine, but yeah, like a set of keys. Okay. Okay. So, if um, no one else is looking, then I I will I will take those keys. Mm -hmm. Uh. Ooh, oh yeah, and then uh, it, it it if you glance over the the. Oh yeah, that's actually he's gonna take it. The, the mortal does note. Uh, as far as the, the other guys, this is funny, uh, based off of who could have and couldn't have been on this, in this battle, uh, it should, the other person should listen. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, the, he notes that the, that the swords that the other two fighters, the long swords, uh, were silvered. Ooh. Uh oh. That's Garfield of Riverdoot. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and then on the table, you see kind of various, uh, uh papers, um, a, like a general map of the area with things scrawled on, like some pins and things like that. Um, 
and you see orders on the table, and as you look through them, uh, it seems to like instruct the the this gang, this this people, uh, to continue to harass and waylay caravans traveling to the city, uh, in the hopes that it will turn the populace against the Clovis Concord, um, uh, for not being able to stop them. All the while simultaneously allowing them to raise the prices on their smuggled goods. Um, the And as always, the orders are relayed to them from uh, the Red Hand himself. So it's all related to like the Red Hand. Sock Red Blue! No, Red. Yeah. <laughs> Sock Red Blue. I do that red humor all the time. <laughs> um... The red fox one. Um, yeah, that's kind of what you see on the desk. And, and like I said, a map of like this chunk of the Menagerie Coast. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. What would you like uh, to do? Yeah, did you guys want to? Take a short rest. That that helps some people feel better. I mean, I don't know how much right. I it's gonna do for me, but uh, it ain't about me, as mm -hmm. Doctor Phil would say. I mean, I'm I'm willing to maybe get to a spot. Let let this uh guy in the corner figure out that maybe he shouldn't chase after us when he wakes up and sees all of his dead friends and he can't move and mm. we maybe get a little bit of a move on I'm okay with that okay I say as I walk over here and check to see if this door is locked and see the door is not locked, locked yeah. and then you're able to open the door god damn it yeah. ooh fucking more doors left or right Gandalf Door. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, can I, can I check the right door, see if I hear anything? Um, <laughs> you can, right door, um. Well, I, wait, he went left, I went right. Yeah. But he said right, right, yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, okay. you, let me see. I'm rolling investigation, perception, what the hell am I rolling? Uh, you can, uh, let me see, is this, um, Real roll a, you can roll a perception. Uh, let's see. Personal chambers. Personal word? Okay. Um, this should be... Okay, I'll... There's something I think I might perceive it. Um... <laughs> like a good shot. <laughs> Oddly enough, you, you take a good listen, and you're confident that it's fairly quiet. You can kind of hear the you you are able to kind of focus yourself in here and listen to the room and like you hear a breeze you maybe hear like uh uh the fire of like a like a like the popping and like fire of like a uh, a lantern uh um like a small lantern maybe kind of but uh so there might be something but not much. Yeah, no, it was just like maybe a little, like a lantern just sitting there lit. But that's it. You know, there might be like a snake person being really quiet in there. You know, <laughs> we haven't had that happen before. Oh, yep. I'm gonna listen at the right door. Probably not uh. listen very well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you feel, I mean, I mean, you're, I don't hear none. Okay. Okay. Right. Look over here. Like I don't hear anything from this side. I I hear some like a lantern fire, but I don't hear much from mine. Damn, dude, it's awesome. Uh, did anyone did anyone grab one of those silver swords? Like uh, just Mortal in case? has them. Mortal has them in his uh his bag of, in the bag of holding. Like, Sweet. Ooh. Okay. And he he could like oh he would your ass because like. Yeah, and he kind of reaches to uh, one at a time with his hands and like pulls them out, like, and then he puts them back in. <laughs> cool. Okay, just in case. Um, 
I didn't hear anything to the right. My gut feeling says go left. Mm -hmm. My my uh, my made up feline instinct. Uh, I think <laughs> that one be a bad plan. Um. Oops. Hey, I was always taught like if you're like in a maze, you always keep your hand on the left wall, and eventually you'll find your way out. Yeah. So uh, I say let's head left. Yeah. I see you've been to a corn maze. <laughs> She's been to uh, mm. a uh, a hedge maze, uh, like mm. uh, you uh, out in the out in the, the yeah. warden of hedge maze. Like <laughs> you need to go to one of those. The actually, suburbs. with the that actually, you should go to a corn maze with Harper. Yeah. There you go. But I mean, you're like running that. out of time. That's gonna be you're gonna be harvesting soon. If uh, true. Yeah. Sure. International right, so I'm gonna, combine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be bold. I'm gonna be bold. I'm gonna be a bold ranger, and I'm gonna go huzzah! And, <laughs> <laughs> and then you see here. Uh, let me pull up the thing. Oh, good <laughs> chairs. I sit down. <laughs> <laughs> you guys sit down. Hey guys. Uh, this co uh, yeah. So this cozy huzzah! room. <laughs> this cozy huzzah! room contains a nice sitting area along with some bookshelves. Uh, and you see like three so, chairs a nice little like just uh, to sit at there's like bookshelves with like various books on them just, yeah, nothing major and like it just seems like a place where you can kind of like rest uh, it, hey, pss, pss, and you mortal. see a hallway get, get in here mortal I, I pick out a book that says it's about an Argonian maid <laughs> oh. Oh, oh the lusty she, one she lusty yeah <laughs> There's a yeah the 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 sultry tales of uh uh cheese wheel lizard folk. <laughs> oh my god! What was the name of that? that uh, well, there's the there's the the, the love tusk. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's the infamous book from the from Critical Role. <laughs> Is it love tusk or tusk love? Tusk love, yeah. Tusk love, yeah. Uh, you guys, uh, Immortal uh, kind of picks up the, the deal and uh, uh, closes the door behind you guys. Alright. What would you guys like to do next? Uh, I just kind of want to, like, glance at the book title, see if I see anything interesting that catches my eye. Um, so a lot of it is just... Um, it's uh, just uh, nothing major. Just I think random okay. books you've seen before. Uh, you've seen multiple of them at the library. Mm -hmm. um, easy reads. Uh, okay. A few like, like, like uh, magic theory books, but like that you've seen before. <laughs> like you've seen before even. Cool. Uh, yeah, so no, nothing new, uh, but they're here. Uh, okay. It's like the, it's like that. Like you see the 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 bookshelf at the hotel that has like uh, fifteen copies of. Uh, he's not just not that into you, you know. Yeah. <laughs> the thinking fast and slow is uh, untouched in the corner. Exactly. Uh, uh. Cool. All right. Well, I'm going to quietly walk over here to this door. Yeah. So you see that uh, one of the things you notice about that door is that it's like heavily barricaded from the outside. Oh. Okay. Like with these like crates. Interesting. Okay. Okay. If I listen, do I hear anything? Uh, give me a perception check. Wasted. Another five. That's what I rolled last time. <laughs> uh, what's your perception? What is the total? Uh, ten. Uh, you. Uh, I wonder. Uh, I think that's. I want to say if it matches the stealth, the passive stealth. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, you hear a something. 
skull like kind of like rustling around and maybe like stepping around very slow large steps okay very like but it's almost like it's confined just trying to kind of like move around mm -hmm. Maybe it's like a big shake. Something. Okay. I was like, no, what does this creature, what kind of feet does this creature have? I gotta look at this. <laughs> you only knew what I was Googling. Oh yeah, no, it's like, it's like, it's not big, it's these, like maybe like you hear like something, you swear you hear what sounds like a, a crab uh claw People? snapping <laughs> okay but it's very go large but if it was very if, if uh, the crab claw was like the size of your head or bigger god okay what uh, a crab man so there's like a barricaded door over here guys and there's definitely something really large behind it maybe crab like Maybe we don't want to open that door. Um, maybe I'll I trust you. Maybe we do. I don't know, but uh, there's agree. several more doors down here. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go peek at these doors. Yeah. I don't know if it helps, PD. I have a passive perception of 15. Oh yeah, yeah, or, and then, but, yeah, but, but, but yeah, with roll. that, yeah, uh, that lets you know. Okay, so even better. Yeah, you do okay. notice. Uh, uh, why, can, why can't I see the door? It's weird. Okay, okay, there you go. Away? Okay. Uh, I, I didn't see the... I, for, so for a hot moment there, I couldn't see the oh. the, the door icons. Oh, good to know. Um, alright. The... Yeah, you can... You, you try that door and it's it's unlocked. Oh. And then you can... You hit listen. Um, and I'm gonna say... With your passive perception, you can tell that, like, it's quiet in here. If anything, you hear remnant sounds of that other room, but it's quiet in here. Alright, screw it. <laughs> ah, let me in. Huzzah! <laughs> it's dark, but with your dark vision, you know, it's, it's just an empty bedroom. Okay. There's nothing in here in particular. Okay, just... okay, okay. What about, wait, was it, so Lara, I thought you were just at this door. Where'd you go? I was going to go back up here because I had a different idea. Oh, okay, um, okay. Um, while she's doing that, mm -hmm. um, what would I have to do to barricade the door with the thing that sounds like it would murder us with crab claws? What, just as, as a theoretical idea. I mean, uh, you can ex you would examine the the what's set up, and it looks like it's currently already barricaded. Like what, it's from got the big out from yeah from end? the outside yeah. Like okay. That's what those crates are. Like it's got big crates like propped up on it. And ah, you can okay. tell it's locked up. That's what I was mentioning. That's why she made note of like trying to like perceive it. Okay, okay. I didn't realize that those boxes were specifically there, like forcing the okay. Got mm -hmm. it. Now, mm -hmm. okay. The picture is better now. Okay. Yes. <laughs> uh, Good idea, though. Like, yeah. Uh, like that was yeah. just not intentionally <laughs> put there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, so door number three. A Holstein cow. Uh, you I... hear? You hear nothing. Huzzah! A new car! Oh. <laughs> oh what? I mean, no if way. we're let's making a deal, there has to be. I mean, we're in costume, yeah. and like there has uh, to be yeah, some bovine type yeah. choice. Okay. Uh, what about gonna, this one? Let me. Okay, let me get uh, bosses. What? Bosses. The what? <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, <laughs> um. All right. So. Uh, oh yeah, I, I put these. I, I I rolled these. Um, the so yeah, you don't hear anything. Yeah, in particular. Okay. Huzzah. Yeah. Uh, this oh. room. 
Uh, roll finish. No, <laughs> this room. Wait, 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 what? No. <laughs> uh, this room is incredibly clean compared to the rest of the fort. Someone has clearly oh. been caring for the space while living here. Oh. Uh, you kind of like see uh, just random papers and things like that. Uh, you do notice um, three spell scrolls. Well, it seemed like scrolls. I'll take those Please. and snatch them up under my, my arm. Yeah. Um, anything getting... anything uh anything hidden under the bed? <laughs> uh, under the mattress? <laughs> a couple dust bunnies. Okay. Uh, that's about it. No, uh, I don't want to do that. Get out of there. Okay. Random robes, you see it like store sort of way in the dresser. Cool. Um, but nothing in particular. Really okay. well, I'm gonna take these scrolls and my head back up to my pals. Like, all right, so minus the like potential crab room, there are just a bunch of bedrooms down there. And hey, mortal, do you want to check out these scrolls? They look maybe like something up your alley. Yeah, let me, well, let I me want to know Ludus named Randy Robes. <laughs> Wait, uh, Toby, one, you want to come check out it too? Oh, uh, I'm. What, what, what would I know? Other I, I than know. I have I identify as a spell. Um, uh, and he, he mortal like looks over them. It's like okay. He looks over them, and um, I don't say he's pretty studious. He's able to. Uh, let me see. I'll, I'll have him roll this kind of check just in case, but just to be able to read the. Uh, well, he's proficient, so it should be fine. I'll say yeah, nine, nineteen. That's fine. Yeah, he kind of takes some time to kind of look over, look over the writing, uh, study it for a little bit. Um, yeah, these, um, these are good. So these, uh, scrolls are all, uh, fascinating. They're, they're all spells, scrolls. Um, they're, uh, they seem to be kind of more of like a divine nature of spells. It kind of looks like very, like, Jesus. Um, but so this one, uh, this one's uh, mass healing word. Um, and then it kind of like shows it, it's like uh, shows a little bit of the details of the writing. But yeah, this is a mass healing word. Scrolls it up, uh, puts it back on the table. And it looks at the other one. It's like this one looks like it's revivify. Have we uh, have somebody revivified? Scrolls it back up, put it on the table. Ah, this one's uh, this one helps uh, understand various languages, various tongues. Huh? Mm -hmm. Ooh. The tongues. The tongues. Uh, which, yeah, let me see. The tongues. Yeah, the cell grants. Oh uh, yeah, the, the, it's tongues. So it lets you kind of like. Understand any spell you, any language you hear, uh, and when you t speak, uh, any creature that knows at least one language can hear uh, can hear what you understand. So anybody that can, uh, you can hear any language, and anybody can that can speak a language can understand you. Uh, at least for the time being. Yeah, these are, uh, do you guys, uh, you guys want me to hold on to these? Yes, so please. We... But okay. you, you can stick those next to, like, uh, your, uh, put them in your Mary Poppins purse. Or in fact, next to your silver right. swords. <laughs> uh, it puts the, it's the, uh, or, uh, gladly do it for y'all. Uh, and you can, like, Tongues. Okay, so I did put scrolls. Yeah, spell scroll, spell scroll, spell scroll. Okay. Boom. So now you now within your team you have if it's needed a scroll of max healing word, a scroll of revivify, and a scroll of tongues. Technically, cleric spell scrolls. Uh, 
Uh, what? Scroll right. Tongue was my was my least favorite professor in Harry Potter. All right. Um. Real quick. Uh, I'm gonna take a people break. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay. So I'm looking at the world of many ITX motherboards, just to you know, because I'm I'm aware of you know the fractal node 202 comes with a like I think a 450 watt power supply. It's like a buck oh. thirty-five new, um, and uh, it, it can be done both horizontally or vertically. Um, I'm, I'm debating Windows hmm. 11. Uh, all I have to do is, I thought I wasn't sure if I have the TPM two, so I, I I downloaded a thing to check, and it says, "Hey, I'm good." Um, so all I would need to do is flip Secure Boot back on, and I'm good. You? How much did you say that node 202 was? Because I'm seeing it uh, for the, 80. Uh, it depends on does it have the power supply or not. Hey, I believe that might be the differentiating factor. But hey. Let me check the great spreadsheet of my notes. Um, that's... Uh, mm -hmm. Because I am seeing... Yes, with a 450 watt power supply is 139 on Newegg. Okay. It is the option of the 450 watt SFX sized power supply. Side note: Can we be? Can, is this a safe place to be angry about like Sora being the most wet part of a reveal? Sure, I. I mean. I'd, there are more interesting characters here. You have the floor from me. It's like it's Kingdom Hearts has. If you want the Kingdom Hearts music, which is the best part of Kingdom Hearts, there are cooler <laughs> characters in Kingdom Hearts. Like Sora is. I've said this today at work, and I haven't found the more perfect, like facsimile of like what I'm talking about. Sora is like Belle from Twilight. There are more interesting characters in Twilight. And, like, you needed, like, an empty vessel to put yourself in. That's Sora. There's nothing to the... Like, uh. <laughs> you're, you're, you want my take? I popped in my headphones on that. I was like, what? <laughs> also, uh, you want my ahead. take? They're all anime boys with swords, and I do not care about any of them. Right, if you And you know what I care less than an anime boys? Disney. Yeah. Like... If you I were, mean, if you, you know what? If, if you could get Mickey forward, Mouse in Smash, that'd be dope. No, but people right. people were looking for the anime contingent, and instead of giving them what they, they wanted the in Goku, they were like, they have fifteen Fire Emblem characters, gonna, characters, don't they? <laughs> yeah, I was I was just gonna say we're just gonna do Fire Emblem in a different thing, and it's another fucking sword character. And another fucking weave character, and it's like you had all these other interesting characters, and you picked something that like my mind goes, this is a Sony thing, right? <laughs> Sora is a Sony thing, and you have so many other interesting Sony characters, and we still don't have Waluigi with just just an echo of Luigi with a higher jump and Square, less armor. That's it. Like it's so easy to do Luigi. Like you just need the art, and you need to change an I and I file. That's it, and you couldn't do that. Uh, I'm so. They could have gotten the European contingent and get one of Rare's greatest creations, Lanky Kong, with his trombone <laughs> attack. He could do everything that Waluigi does, but be a musician. Yeah. There's so many better characters. He's got no Sora. style, and he's got he no grace. I mean, but like, so yeah, this Kong he has a, a funny face. I could yell about Sora for an hour. I did today I at work. Tell. <laughs> like, I was I, like, I jumped I on, I put my headphones that, on in the less, middle of that. <laughs> I put yeah. my headphones on I, in the I, middle of like, uh, all that. <laughs> like, in my head canon, Drew, you just, you're like, you know what? It's my last day or my next to last day, whatever. I'm just going to stand at the front door and just follow people around as soon as they walk in, ranting about Sora. The bad thing is we have a group chat that's like me and the other two guys that like each other. Um, <laughs> that's sort 
um, at the Geek Squad at this point, and like, I'm I'm not kidding. Like, there was hours of conversation. Like, it starts. Hold on, where is it? It starts here, right? Starts here, uh-huh. and it just keeps going. <laughs> this, nice. is, this is just me bitching uh-huh. about Sora and how bad Sora is. <laughs> God, all right, love it. all right, so bad. all right. As we get back to to back on track, um, all right. You guys uh, investigated oh, that, uh, uh, and you guys uh, f- uh found uh the scrolls. Uh, what would you guys like to do next? I mean, I guess the other door is the logical answer to this, right? Yeah, yeah. You guys are gonna go to what the other we got. Door? Uh, I mean, I'm going to say, hey, guys, we should probably go see what the other door is about. Yeah, not not the crab door, the other door, yeah. Yes, no, okay, not. Okay. So open the Scare door. Me crab door. <laughs> open the door. Please. As Solera tries to walk into a closed door, like, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> what your I try to be cool moves? and, like, Fonz, like, pound the door open and it just keeps not working. Like, I don't yeah. understand. Yeah. Uh, like, and then, a, like a car- like an NPC with bad pathing, just walking. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dragoon from uh, Starcraft Brood War. Just keep walking yeah. into geometry. Um, hmm. hey, being bold worked for me last time, so huzzah! Recency oh. bias. Yes. <laughs> um, it's dark and hell is hot. No, uh, it's. Uh, I wonder if you guys oh. can, can. You guys should be able to. So there's doors, but I, I, oh, it works. You can see through these doors. That's because they're oh, yeah. uh, cells. Oh. Um, so what do you see? So you can you can see through these doors. They're just cells, and uh, the first ones that you kind of see, you see an empty cell, um, and and then it it just is a hallway full of like, um, of of cells basically. <laughs> Prison cells uh, are put together. So, and as you walk by this particular one, yeah, I'm gonna walk by the cell because it's cells. There should be some with people in them. Uh, it's currently uh, you wander wander to this one. Uh, this wretched cell contains a little more than a straw mat and a bucket. Uh, this is what you see in all of them. Basically, it's just like this, like like on this is disgusting cells with like just like straw mats and maybe like a bucket inside. Uh, straw mat and a bucket. The contents of which are questionable. Uh, you see the cell door. This one. Oh, I should say this one is locked. Uh, I should have locked it for you. <laughs> uh, I forgot that it said that. Uh, That's okay. I'm just, I'm just peeking. Yes, but you can see through it. Uh, inside, uh, you see an unconscious form. And what you see, I would say, an unconscious uh, form that seems to be it, basically an unconscious midron. Uh, hmm. uh, an unconscious oh, midron bestiaire. <laughs> Uh, kind of like he's unresponsive. Okay, okay, Solero. I think this is Midrin. Go check it out. Peek, peek. I keep peeking through these. Make sure they're all um, clear. So while you while he's doing that, because uh, then he can address the lock. But in a moment, you notice in here. Well, let me make sure. Hmm. So okay, this old door is locked. <laughs> I forgot. I, I so um I had to. I should say I did have to make this all myself a little bit because uh, all this map originally was just the picture. So I, I I drew all the walls and the doors and stuff, and I, I was like, trying to cool. remember what. Uh, and then I I learned how to make a door be transparent, like a like a cell, like a cage. Because you can, like, there's a setting that, like, can be seen through, but can't move through. 
And it's like, unless I like there, it's like, oh. So I figured that out. Um, alright. So. The cell. Uh, the cell seems to have been converted into like a makeshift vault. A chest can be seen at the far end and uh, overflowing with coins. Um, oh yeah, and uh, the, the, both doors seem to be locked. You do seem to remember you have keys. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. Uh, so, and yeah, I took those keys, didn't I? Yeah, so you fumble with a few of the keys, you kind of like try for different ones. And yeah. yeah, one of the, like about the oh, twelve yeah. second, third one uh, works and you're able to break, uh, make your way in there. Okay, yeah, I hope there's anything. not a trap. <laughs> <laughs> just, I, I just, I just want to look, I don't want to touch anything yet. <laughs> a bucket of water. Just <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Uh, but yeah, no, there doesn't seem to be any traps as far as you can tell. Okay. Uh, um, yeah. so is there anything, uh, like, noteworthy other than the chest of gold coins, or chest of coins? Um, so, uh, you see in there, actually you see, you look around, um, you see a, uh, a set of splint armor, plus one, well, I'm not gonna say, yeah. <laughs> you don't know that that's <laughs> plus one, but. Uh, it seems to be particularly sturdy splint armor. Uh, you see a couple of magic rings. There's a couple of rings that seem to kind of like give off an aura. Uh, okay. A perceptible aura. Uh, amongst like a bunch of random jewelry. There's a couple of them that stand out and seem to have like a bit of an aura. And you see a, a, like a, like a sack. Like a particular, like this uh, pouch. Uh, backpacks like pouch. Uh, it has like a central pouch and a couple side pouches. Um, that seems to stand out and have like a like the, there's something again a magical aura to it. Uh, okay. Oh man. Everybody. Summer really wants to touch it because she's super <laughs> curious. Um, I would say give. I mean, uh, you can give a perception check to check for, for, for traps or anything or any issues. Yeah, yeah, you know what? Why why not? Or, uh... Well, I guess that's better than my natural perception, so that worked. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and you can, if you wanted to give, like, an arcana check, based off of, like, what you've been looking up. Uh, Hold on. Come on, good roll. Yeah. Because I got a plus, nothing. <laughs> uh, the rings, you can, uh, the only thing you can like sense is that they're magical. Uh, you'll probably have to ask Toby to do, a, uh, do an identify or you know, uh, anybody else to do an identify. The armor is just really good armor and you, it has that, that aura that, that gives it that extra uh, protection. Uh, the sack in particular, you look it over and you kind of like play with it. And it gives a sense if you, especially if you open it, it gives the same sense that you get from watching when, uh, from uh, mortals' uh, uh, bag of holding. Oh. But it's smaller. And oh. I'm gonna say you, uh, this is enough to say that you remember hearing about. I think you've maybe even seen it a couple of different times because this is not an uncommon uh, magic item. Uh, or actually, no, it's rare. <laughs> it's literally rare. But it's okay. uh. But you've seen it before. It's like a hand. It's a handy haversack. Ooh. Okay, cool. So the, the armor is it like on a mannequin? Is it in a pile? Uh, it's like what? it's like stored. It's like on a table, just set up. Okay, because uh, it's more like can I grab like a piece of armor, and as a test, like try to shove it in this bag to be like, can this do what I think it's gonna do? So if I can, I grab like a like a bracer. There's, or there's like kind random. Of large to, uh, yeah, you can grab a, like the bracer of it. Yeah, and, and um, and there's yeah. and then one of the things you do notice is that um, uh, you have about you notice that it. You, I, I would say you try a couple of things and experiment with it, and you find that uh, by trying each of the pouch, 
that each of the side pouches uh, you can fit nothing you can fit anything as long as it's no larger than a cu two cubic feet oh roughly about two cubic feet if you can if you kind of like eyeball it and okay. uh so, and like, the so like several lemons would fit in the yes. side pouch <laughs> and then the and then the 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 uh main pouch seems to kind of like you have to fit something it has to be no lo no wider then up to eight cubic feet. Okay. Something like that. Okay. And regardless, so... whatever, regardless of where you put it in there, it weighs about five pounds roughly. Okay. All right. Yeah, so how many? Folder. How many? Like um, I want to say like suspicious rings that I see. Did you say it was two? Do you see two? Uh, okay. Not suspicious. They just. They give but like a nice just, aura. They're like, yeah, okay. This, they, they look particularly like intriguing and neat. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to so take like... those rings and put them in one of the side pouches of that bag. Mm hmm. And, and then I've character. also got that, that, that piece of armor in that bag, too. Hold on. Come on, kitty. Out of the way. And. <laughs> it's a very nice fluffy tail. So <laughs> fluffy, you guys. My God. Uh, and I'm gonna go find where everybody else is. I'll check in with Solero. Did you, did you get him to wake up yet? Uh, so uh, in the meantime, what what did you do to uh, did you try to uh, Jimmy the lock open? That's a that's a Drew yeah. question. Uh, Drew, <laughs> I just realized my microphone was muted as oh. I was trying to. <laughs> say, yes, I was trying to give me the lock open, yes. but I didn't know what to roll for that. Uh, you can roll. Let me let me see. Uh, a sleight of hand is a plus. But I don't know. Uh, if let me lock. Until, Are you like proficient that. with thieves' tools? Usually, it would be probably dexterity with thieves' tools. Yeah. Proficiency. Yeah, it, oh, no. you, you yeah. should be proficient with these tools. I think based on your background. Yeah, I think I specifically put a little bit of my background in that, but uh, I don't know. Um, no, I don't see it under your proficiency. But let me under your um, um, forge. I don't. I mean, have to. But. I can always give it the old uh, Bartley try. Yeah, are you, did you at some point come around here? I have here the jack of all here? trades. Hold on, I'm going to go find Toby. Who the hell's Toby? Where, where, I, mean, where I, have, I have good dexterity if I had Steve's tools. I'm going to go back to the library area. So like, Toby. To give me some Steve's tools to try. Wherever you went, Toby, get, get over here. Mortal. Sue, follow. We got stuff. I'm always yeah. willing to give it the old. I was hanging out in the theater of the mind. <laughs> uh, I don't even know where you guys are at on this map. I need to get to the... Over here. Uh, to the right of the library. Uh, you, there you we go. Kind of, you have to, like, guide uh, yeah, I got you. Uh, mortal... <laughs> You, you kind of have to guide mortal because it's very dark. And like, I'm gonna. Is everything calm? Oh, yeah. So I think I'm gonna light a torch. Yes. Okay. Yes, it should be fine. Yeah, and he lights up. Famous torch. last words. <laughs> okay, so Toby, is Toby? Uh, you gonna help you... Solera with the lock? So you get everybody yeah. together. I would say, uh, Summer, you get everybody together to like help with the lock. Uh, and then as soon as everybody, like as Toby's standing there with his thieves tools, uh, you, you remember you have keys. Oh, shit, guys, I got keys. <laughs> I used it to open this like vault at the end of the hallway, which, by the way, I've got stuff to show you. Um, do you want to talk about that now or do we want to like rescue this guy first? Like I found like a, Toby's I found like a over. bag and some rings. Toby, you're oh, you're standing some... you're standing over the lock with the, your thieves tools, about to like get down there, and and <laughs> Summer goes, "Oh wait, I've got keys." <laughs> <laughs> Toby, 
totally forgot. Throws Sorry. the lockpicks down. Yeah, I guess. Uh, yeah. Also, I've got like Glad a couple. I got a, a a couple of rings that I think uh something going on with them, and there's some armor. If anybody's into like some splint type armor, it looks really nice, really sturdy. And then there's like a a chest of gold or chest of coins down here too. Yes. Just a coin to say. Yeah. So, Toby, do you go investigate the... the <laughs> I shall. Alright, you can move yourself down there. Oh. Oh, oh kind of like... Here, it's, da it's down here. In this door. I am... You make your way on the correct monitor. Yes. Down here. <laughs> oh, we're gonna play it. Oh, wait, I should... I'm uh, gonna put the map back on. Um, but yeah, you you notice that there's a set of split armor there on the table. Uh, I think missing a gauntlet. <laughs> I'm gonna vocalize that. Uh, <laughs> hey guys. Yeah. And then uh, you look at, and you see a chest, a, like a chest that looks like it's overflowing with like coins. Hey everybody, have you heard the news? <laughs> uh, and then Toby, as you look through the chest. Um, uh, I'm going to say in the time that they're, whatever they're doing right now, uh, you're over there counting the coins, uh, but I'll let, you know, let you sit there and be like, I'm counting the coins. Uh, you get, and I'll let you manage this, uh, math, uh, 153 gold pieces. Okay. Hang on uh, a second. Okay. I, I can, I need to write this down. Yes. Uh, Carmel, Indiana, America's. Best city in a roundabout way. Yes. <laughs> so how much gold again? 153 gold pieces. Okay. 478 silver pieces. 478. Mm -hmm. And 547 copper pieces. Damn! How heavy is that chest? <laughs> I don't know, but uh, don't ask questions you don't want to hear the answers to. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. It's weirdly enough weightless because it's all <laughs> one. <laughs> right? That's how that works. Definitely. You manage. Mm. He did not answer we, that. We, <laughs> you manage. You figure it out. You like. You manage like where to put it and how to carry it and where to like store it. I'm gonna say eventually we'll we'll figure out what you'll need to do as far as stashing your cash, but. Uh, all right, it's been accounted for. I will, uh, I will uh, let everybody know accordingly. And then, it is, uh, uh, it is safe in the bank, and I have a post-it note telling me. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and then the the only thing left, and you have that splint armor, um, uh, particularly uh, nicely designed splint armor. Yo, anybody wear some splint armor? Or would like like to? Yeah, Solero. Because I certainly am not. Mortal? <laughs> either either of you More. into like Um Scott uh, Shell. Well, yeah, I got my armor here. He points at his back. And here he points at his shield. <laughs> mm -hmm. Toby was waiting for some uh, Lorica segmentata so I can Hey, Petey, what was like the name of that soldier. that bag of oh, holding that I grabbed? Uh, Handy Haversack. It should be in your inventory on uh, okay. Foundry. Yeah, it uh, probably will be Havard's Handy Haversack, I think. Yeah. Havard, I think? Oh, like that. Or even yeah. like... Heward? Still trying to get used to using Foundry for like a character. Morgan Cannons, Faithful... Yeah. It's just a, it's just like a, it <laughs> yeah, no, you just keep track of it on, on D and D Beyond, just to, yeah. uh, for the, for the important stuff. I'm just like dropping it in here just so you can have it for your, yeah. in, in, in a quick moment, but, um, yeah. and you, I, I put the rings, but you don't know what the rings are just yet. You're going to have to still like get okay. them identified. Sure thing. Um, in fact, I think I can make it so that they're not identified. Inventory. Uh, 
It doesn't matter. Okay, dokie. Yeah, we can worry about that later. Okay, yeah, cool. I'm taking my notes, too. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, so Solera, are you thinking about this armor situation? Um... Do you... you... let me see, look at your armor. I'll, you don't... I'm, I'm, I was like, just keep in mind, I don't think anybody's <laughs> proficient in heavy armor. It is heavy armor. No. Mm. Well, yeah. That's what I was gonna say. That... that... splint armor is like the start of, like, heavy armor, which... A ranger is not really meant for just because of movement. Yeah. None of us are. We are none of us the correct kind of person in yeah. our party to have this. Um, let me. Uh, I'll go ahead and um stash it in the in the in the. Big It'll bag. probably sell well. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, mortal. Uh, here's the here's the other gauntlet that goes with it. Yeah, I was using it to him. test yeah, this he, bag. He, he goes and retrieves it. And, uh, okay. Uh, um. Do we want to like bring the? Or did we get the chest of coins over here by Midrin's cell, or is it still sitting in the vault? Uh, what did Toby do? <laughs> what is? I think Toby. You hear Toby right like. Here. You you hear the distant uh, you hear you see if you walk over there you see Toby kind of like counting the coins and organizing everything. <laughs> okay. Yes, hey. I, I've I, I've been doing my account. I got my green visor on. I'm 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 here accounting. Okay. Yes. Hey Toby, He's I found this. An account and an account. I found this bag. Do you think yes. we could like stash the gold in here and all the Are the you... money in here? It seems to be kind of magical. Kinda? Okay, cool. Yeah, I uh, think, I yeah. could I could definitely use that, uh, as I am uh, a pack mule of sorts. Okay, here, let's go test it. Alright, so I'm gonna go back in there and start, like, putting handfuls of these coins in this bag. And then, like, randomly, like, okay, is this getting too heavy to carry? I'm testing it. Oh, I, I'm, I'm already carrying fat money. Uh, I, yeah. I can, Toby can hook you up with a bag to put in that bag. Yeah. <laughs> His coin purse is dragging the floor. <laughs> okay. Um. So, uh, no matter. So, as you put in the coins, uh, you find that uh, uh, no matter no matter how many like as you keep putting coin coins, it just stays the same weight. It's just about five pounds. Sweet. Hey, I can find this useful. Okay. Yeah. Let's let's do it. All right. So I'm gonna load up that bag. And I, I guess I can just store it in my backpack. Sure. Yeah, you can. It, like it has, cool. it, you can ca keep it in your or in a belt or in a backpack. It's like a nestle like. Well, backpack. I mean, if if you're gonna be the 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 person with the the other bag of holding, I will give you all of this money. Or I can I can give it to you, Toby, if you want it. I mean, it's up to you, but I'm I'm carrying like. I mean, like you're already the the team banker, so. So, yeah, I'm, I'm holding 106 pounds worth of gold. <laughs> yeah. If we're going by troy ounce. Yeah. Uh, how about how about we give the bag to Toby yeah, so he can put go. all the other monies in there as well, consolidate. Uh, uh, I would say you, you, through experimentation, you figure out that uh, the main patch uh, holds about eight, holds up to eighty pounds in kind of like in a, in another dimension, you know, in the pocket dimension, as it were. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And uh, the side pouches each hold about uh, twenty pounds. Okay. Uh, Which Toby? There are okay. a couple of rings each in one of those. Each coin weighs a third of a third of an ounce, so we're okay in D and D. <laughs> The D and D math, we're good. So you're, okay. you basically have 120 pounds overall worth of uh, of storage for that. Wait, this could come in handy. Cool. At least until okay. we can find a bank where we can like exchange these or yeah. deposit them. Okay, yeah. so PD, you have moved that to Toby's yes. inventory. Awesome. And then I'm gonna remind Toby, hey, there's a couple of rings in one of those side pouches. 
I think you oh. need to look into them. Maybe when we get to like a safer location. Yeah, when we, I, I, I got, I got the right technique for dealing yeah. with that. Yeah. Okay, cool. And then mortal grab the armor. I yeah. think that was all the cool stuff. All right, and then you have this door. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm gonna unlock the cell door then. Mm -hmm. okay, you unlock the cell. Hip, and hip, buddy. He is. You can tell he's unconscious but stable. So he's un fairly unresponsive. You want to take make a medicine check to see if you can kind of like wake him. Yeah, I'll do that. Medicine. Uh, he's like having trouble figuring it out. Like, um, mortal. Mortal, you got any smelling salts? Oh, uh, let me let me take a let me take a whack at it. Uh, it was an advantage and take mine as well. <laughs> okay, good advantage. Oh, good. <laughs> can can, can uh, I he, assist Solero while he does it? Yeah, you guys assist him. Because uh, he has a plus six. <laughs> there we go, yeah. Okay. There we go. There we go. And it's wild because uh, <laughs> it's a DC 10. Oh my god. <laughs> that was silly. <laughs> um, yeah, you kind of like. I have a plus two. What are we going to have to do to poke this guy awake? Yeah, uh, but you guys, uh, w between the, like, the three of you, you kind of, like, like, uh, you check him, you make sure he's healthy, like, he's not healthy by any means, he's, like, mal malnourished, uh, he definitely looks like he's been, uh, beaten, um, uh, and interrogated, and, uh, he's not eating well, he definitely is down, he's, he definitely has some kind of cold <laughs> like oh, wow. uh, or something like he and he's he's he looks like he's been kept here and not barely kept alive and barely kept taken care of uh so he okay. wakes up like, oh, 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 what what's going on i don't I, I, you know, I don't really hey, know familiar. It's okay. Uh, it's okay. We're uh, friends. Your wife sent us. You remember uh, Mia? Yeah. yeah, she still loves you, buddy. She wants she wants you to come home. Tell Laura I love her. <laughs> I love that we're Tell all crammed Laura, in this tiny room. <laughs> I need her. Uh, he's like, yeah, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, I miss, uh, uh this is so do, terrible. Do, do, you, do you think you can walk? I, 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 uh, yeah, hey, I, I, I got something for you. I'm going to give him one of my potions of greater healing. Ooh, good idea. Okay, uh, let me uh, undo the... Conscious condition. You can roll that if you like. Uh, the potion? Uh, yes. I'll do it for you in your inventory. Nope, that's not what I wanted. That made me heal. Oh, <laughs> no. I meant to. Here, Toaster. let me. Let me fix that. I think, uh, I think, uh, mortal, uh, hey. Uh, okay, there you go. Uh, okay. Uh, I see it in your inventory. And I will then remove one from my inventory. <laughs> Alright, uh. Okay, what a uh, 44 plus 4. Uh, 44 4. Mm -hmm. It's funny. Uh, okay. He's... 
takes. If only I had endless jerky in the pockets of a dress. <laughs> oh. uh, he is like, oh, that is that's much better. Oh, that blasted devil creature. Uh, I'm, I'll be so glad to be out of here. Uh, but uh, that uh, did you? Did, did, did you deal with that 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 devil that was impersonating me I'm, I'm pretty sure uh we tried <laughs> but he got away and we thought uh, maybe he was going to be here but and we found you yeah yeah i mean it's all they, uh, yeah, uh, they, had, they had to kidnap me one night and while I was returning from my office and, um, and had me imprisoned here and was grilling me for my information on my life and, um, and my, my work and my, my company. And I just, uh, I guess just to, to further skillfully impersonate me i i, I was I, I can maybe do a little bit of perception see if i could see if this guy maybe not on the up and up yeah hey, insight check okay. yeah insight okay good idea uh oh well no he's he's being 100 percent truthful as far as i know cool. <laughs> I mean, anybody else who wants to roll an inside check can. Because I keep thinking, this yeah. is very suspicious. There you go. Um, yeah, you can... He's like... Like, <laughs> like he's nodding. Uh, but you, Summer, you do look at, at him and he is... Uh, many things, and one of them is definitely very forthright. Forthright, uh, he has to be the Fortnite. Fortnite, yeah, Fortnite. Fortnite. Uh, he's very, being very honest. Uh, he is tired, exhausted. He is despondent. Uh, okay. He's weary. He's not even relieved that he's being rescued. He's just, he, he's too weary to be relieved. Okay. Uh, but he is like, everything is, every, he is being honest, and you can tell that definitively. Okay. Um, what do I have that I can cheer him up with? A, A little joke. prestidigitation? I mean, he, physically Perhaps some uh, with... close magic card tricks? <laughs> <laughs> he kind of chuckles <laughs> and regrets like, I think I just want to get out of here and back, back to, to the city. I feel if you guys can help me get back. I'm feeling a lot better thanks to that potion, but um, I just need to get out of here. Uh, we we got you, bro. Uh, I want to give a little a little thumbs up to people, like give the signal like he he's cool. It's good. You kind of like I communicate to him. Uh, I want to like put my arm around him to help prop him up to help yeah, he kind of walk like out of here. He he held he yeah. has his arm around you and kind of like leans to you for support. His his, his that potion is working through his body and like helping his body, but he's like his you can tell like his legs are are weary and he's having trouble like his muscle. It's just, he's been kept in this little cell for for. For quite a bit of while, <laughs> and uh, Got try to don't watch out for watch out for the poop bucket. Watch out for the bucket. <laughs> That's that don't was my toilet. <laughs> uh, Understandable, sir. They didn't they didn't let me uh, empty it out. It's mm. it's, it's, disper it's depressing and disgusting. Let, let's get you out of here, bud. I'm away All right. from the bucket. Speaking of bud, I miss our hippie. 
What about here? Um, yeah. Uh, so... As you guys do that... I will say, okay, so as you guys do that, uh, for the... For brevity's sake, we'll say... You guys are able to... Uh, unless you guys were wanting to explore anywhere else. <laughs> but I imagine you guys take, you know, him and you guys immediately go to the exit. And just get yes and try to go home okay yes does toby grab the shark fin on the way out <laughs> you got the bag now <laughs> sure yeah you're able to kind of like hack it in twain with a clean blow <laughs> uh i would say yeah you're able to like fish. <laughs> yeah you're able to do it real quick uh but yeah you guys calmly and quietly uh able to kind of get out uh uh, try to avoid anybody else that might still be in the building, <laughs> uh, and and head back into town, and then uh, we'll have our follow up conversations with uh, Mia and Mitrin as you guys uh, head out of the uh, uh, out of the ruins and start heading back into town after on the next episode of Through the Tomes, uh, in a little bit. Uh, but yeah, let me th go ahead and. Uh, yeah, that wraps it up for this episode. Uh, thank you guys for being with us for this uh, another edition of our adventures. Uh, be sure to follow the channel uh, on Twitch at Rebelly TV, R A B E L L Y TV. Uh, it's right down there if you're watching the video version, uh, both on Twitch and YouTube. Uh, same uh, URL, same name, same username. Uh, check out the uh, show episodes and show notes on thetomes.com. I'm a little behind. I, I, I still got to put last week's episode up there. Uh, but I'll have that up there with links and show notes and uh, links to the adventure that we're playing and, and sometimes even links to the breweries we shout out <laughs> and, and, <laughs> and, and, and uh, distilleries and things like that. Uh, but check out all that stuff on there. Follow our socials if you're watching the, the videos. Uh, follow us on uh, through the tomes. Uh, like, share, subscribe to YouTube. Follow the Twitch. Check out the schedules. All those things. Until next time. Hasta los huevos. Bye bye. Hashtag find loot. Bye bye. Fighting.